Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Alyssa. Hello guys, what's up? I am back with another haul. This is going to be a collective haul. I've been collecting pieces from different brands over the last month. As you know, last month in February, I did a no-buy month, so these are all things that I purchased and collected after my no my month. But before we get started with today's video, it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post. Guys, I'm literally so excited for spring. It's my favorite season. I love dressing for spring. I love all the colors. I love all the trends. So let's just get started right into the video. First thing that I bought in this past month is a set active set in the stone color, I believe. It's a really nice like pale gray I got this style bra and obviously the matching leggings this is the sport body fabric and I have been kind of collecting different activewear sets I had pretty much all the basics like a black and a beige and I felt like a gray would do really well as kind of like a basic color to have I have some funner colors I guess like a really bright green but I was waiting for this color to come back in stock on Seth's website and it finally did and I snatched it right up. I think this is such a pretty color um, for spring as well. The next item of clothing I got isn't necessarily new, but I got a different version of something that I already had. And it is the Amber Crombie jeans, the 90 straight ultra high rise. Um, I had them in the curve love, but I didn't love them. I felt like they got really baggy on me. So I just repurchased in the light wash color in just the regular style. Um, and I really love these jeans. I wore them over the weekend and they did not get baggy on me. So that one was just kind of a fit preference that I wanted to rebuy for. And I think light wash is always such a good staple. The next item that I bought is from Zara and it is another staple piece that I was really looking for to buy after my no buy month. And it is this pair of kind of darker khaki trousers. These are the same black trousers that I got from Zara and I am truly so obsessed with them they're such a beautiful color and i feel like khaki and just kind of lighter neutrals are so good for the springtime because colors are just starting to brighten and everything is starting to brighten so i really wanted a pair of the khaki a, a pair of khaki trousers and this pair from zara is such a good dupe for the aritzia effortless pants so i am obsessed with these pants i've already posted a few instagram photos in them Khaki is such a good basic. Another one of my favorite things to wear in the springtime is matching sets. I love matching sets and I finally got my first matching sweatsuit from Maritza. It's been a long time overdue. I got the TNA Cozy Fleece Boyfriend in like the heather gray color and these are literally the comfiest sweatpants I've ever owned in my whole life. I was searching for a while and trying to decide on like what color to get because i didn't want to get like a pure white because i was afraid i was going to get it dirty because i'm like the queen of spilling things on myself everything like every color i liked either the pants or the sweatshirt was out of stock so finally i saw that the heather gray sweatshirt was on a short back order and the pants were available so i got the matching crew neck in the heather gray color and i'm so obsessed i love a matching sweatsuit moment they just make you look so put together and it's so effortless this next sweatsuit i was really excited to come in the mail i feel like i was checking the tracking every single day this one is from white fox and i'm so obsessed this is my second white fox sweat short set um, i have one in like a beige tan color and I thought that was a really good basic color to have. But I'm really obsessed with this color right now. I have two other items in this haul with like the same color. And it is this beautiful cobalt blue. I'm literally obsessed because ever since I got engaged, I just want to wear this color all the time. Um, this is the shorts and this is the matching hoodie. I have like cat hair all over it sorry this is the matching hoodie it's so cute it just says white fox established 2013 in los angeles i wore this yesterday and it just makes me I, I just love matching sets guys they make me feel so put together i know i keep 
repeating myself, but I just love having options for my matching sets. And it's like, oh, you wanna go grocery shopping? I don't know what to wear. Matching set. This is so comfy. Like the material is so soft. These are like really good matching sets to buy. And White Fox always has like really cool colors. Like I was debating on buying this color for so long and I finally did. And I'm glad that I did because like a week later the color was out of stock. So that color I think is gonna be really, really big coming up. Speaking of cobalt blue, I bought two shirts in that similar color. The first one is a sculpt knit tank from Aritzia. I, there's some deodorant marks on there, sorry. I freaking love this top. It fits so well, it looks so good with like a bigger baggy pant since this is kind of like a small top. Small top, big pant combo. But I really love the sculpt knit material for Aritzia. It just feels so chic and like really well made. This is the Babaton brand. Um, and yeah, I guys, I can't stop wearing this color. It's just, just a color of my season at least, my season of being engaged. The next item of clothing that I got in this color, really I got it because I liked what the back said, but it just so happened that it happened to be in the cobalt blue color. But it is from H&M and it has like this little self-care club logo on the front and then it has self-care club in really big letters on the back and I just thought it looked really cool. I got it kind of as like a pajama shirt or like a relaxed tee, but I've been wearing it as a pajama shirt recently. But I think it's so cool. I think it would also look really cool with just like a pair of like baggy jeans for like a more street style vibe. So as one usually is when you're a fashion girly on the internet, I was very inspired by Matilda Jerf. Who's surprised? Not me. And I just love her like baggy cotton shirts that she always wears. So I went on H&M and I found like this really light blue baggy, not really baggy. I got I had to get it in a small because they were super oversized, but blue kind of breezy um, polo type cotton shirt. I think it'd be so cute like to wear it buttoned down with the sleeves rolled up or leave it open with like a cute crop top underneath and just a pair of like light wash jeans. I think it's very like comfy, casual, just throw this on type of look. So I got one in the like light blue color from H&M and then I also got it in the white color. And I also just think having a basic cotton white button down is such a wardrobe staple like if you're trying to do a capsule wardrobe this is something that you can wear in so many different styles and i think this like breezy effortless material always becomes really popular in the springtime so i think it was finally time for me to grab these breezy polo shirts and this was kind of just you know an extra little option to the cotton shirt i got it in this like deep green color because this green color is so popular right now and green is still my favorite color. I'm wearing blue a lot, but green is still my favorite color. So I got a cotton shirt in like this green, and this one was actually from Zara. So the other two were from H&M, this one is from Zara. But again, I think this would look really cute buttoned down. I actually wore this over the last weekend with my Amber Crombie jeans and just a beige crop top, and it looked really cute, very like Italian summer vibes, you know? Next, I got a few skirts that I'm really excited about. I feel like I didn't have a solid basic black mini skirt, which is just such a staple when you're doing like a capsule wardrobe. So I scoured like Zara, H&M, Aritzia, all these different websites for like a really nice, good, basic black skirt, excuse me, skirt. And I landed on this beautiful like satin effect black skirt from Zara. It looks like it would be flowy, but it does have some like fine type things or maybe it's just the, the way it was sewn, but it is like, it has some reinforcement, which I really like. And it's a really thick material, which I was a little nervous. It would be like really thin, really like breezy and flowy when I really just wanted like a good quality like staple mini skirt so I feel like I definitely achieved that I really want to start wearing more skirts in the springtime so I wanted to start with like a nice basic black skirt I worn this once I've worn it with a sweater and it looks super super cute I actually wore this in my spring outfit like transitional outfits video um and I love the way that this looked with so many different of the pieces that I already owned 
I know I was just talking about how I didn't want to get a super thin flowy skirt, but that is because I had something already in mind for that. I've been watching, like researching a lot of trend predictions and watching a lot of trend predictions videos. And one of them is like ballet core or ballet aesthetic. And I keep seeing this like wrap style ballerina skirt that's going around and I was so, I am so obsessed with this. I think it is so flirty and girly and very just like soft and elegant. And I feel like this would be such a cute skirt to wear during the springtime with like a little open cardigan moment, just something very girly and flirty. So I actually got this skirt off Amazon, which I know I couldn't really find like a wrap skirt anywhere else though. So not proud of like buying it off of Amazon, but it is really cute. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I took it to vacation over the this past weekend and I took a photo of it on the beach and it looked so cute and it was like flowing in the wind. Um, it has a like really good movement, which I think is why I like it so much. And I think it's cool to see kind of like flowier skirts coming back because I feel like we've definitely been sticking to like the closer to body style of skirt. So I love the ballet aesthetic and I think it's definitely gonna be a huge trend. So the next item of clothing is something I've kind of been looking for for a while. I bought something similar from H&M last year, but it was just not a good material. It kept getting really wrinkly and just I couldn't wear it. It was not wearable so i found this beautiful midi gold satin skirt off zara and it has this really cute waist detail um it has this little hardware it's just kind of like an extra piece of fabric that lays on your midriff right on top of the hem of the top of the skirt so this is just so stunning to me i love wearing midi skirts with like midi satin skirts with like a graphic tee or like a crop top just as like a casual moment but it still looks really cute because the the fabric of the satin is just so stunning so i was really excited when i saw this on zara and i like ordered it immediately the color and the sheen is just so beautiful and i feel like this is the skirt that i've been looking for for a while so i love wearing midi skirts in the summer with like a chunky sneaker or sandals i think it looks it reminds me of like celebrities when they're like going to grab coffee and they just like throw on a skirt and a shirt and yeah that's that's the vibes here all right the last two pieces that i want to show in this haul i was kind of hesitant about showing just because they're a little bit more random but i'm just going to show them anyways because i bought them in the last month and maybe you'll think they're cute and you'll want to buy them excuse how wrinkly these are because i just washed them and they're currently still a little wet and they're drying but i saw these super cute like green boxer shorts at h&m when i was returning something and i thought they would be really cute i'm currently like rebuilding my pajama wardrobe Wardrobe. Um, I like donated all of my old pajamas and I decided to like be more of an adult and buy new pajamas and I actually got a lot of really cute um, pajama sets from H&M so if you want to see my new PJs maybe I'll do like a PJ haul but this was kind of what I bought that for to wear as PJs but also wherever like bathing suits or just to throw on when I have somewhere to go I think the boxer short look is really cute on girls so I loved this color this is the second boxer short type thing I bought from H&M I just really like the silhouette on me I think it's very cute one thing about me is that I love a good deal so my little my little hack is if you are looking for something that is very like season related for example a coat and they're just like a little too expensive in the winter time buy it in the spring or the summer because it's usually significantly discounted i have been wanting a long camel pea coat for a while i had a shorter one but it just like wasn't my vibe anymore so i donated it and i've been looking at buying uh, a camel coat in a longer length i really wanted the slouch one from aritzia it's just like i can't justify the price right now so i was looking on amber crombie like a couple weeks ago when i actually was repurchasing that pair of pants and they had a camel coat exactly what i was looking for and it was literally like 30 or 40 percent off so what did i do i bought it immediately and it's hard to see the full thing 
because it's I bought it a size up because I wanted it to be oversized but it's just this beautiful camel long coat I love long coats for the winter time so again this isn't for spring but just a little hack like if you ever want to buy things like winter coats or like maybe bathing suits buy them in the off season they'll always be like super discounted sometimes it's like harder to find things in your size um, but I got really lucky with this one. I there was only like five left when I bought this So I bought it in the large size and I think it looks really cute I wore it yesterday actually because the weather decided to go backwards and be cold again So I wore this grocery shopping and the fabric is so soft and it just like really flows like with my body It doesn't feel stiff at all. So I love the silhouette of this and I'm really excited to be able to wear this in the winter time all right guys that is all that i have for you i hope you enjoyed my little random collective haul of things that i'm definitely going to be wearing in the springtime if you liked today's video it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified every single time i post leave a like leave a comment whatever you feel like doing and i will see you in my next video bye